Right now what I'm doing is I, I, I have a little spa uh, paintbrush and this is a flat black paint. Uh, for, this is for metal, this paint. So uh, right, look right, right what I'm doing. This is detailing. See right now it looks a lot better. So I'm gonna let it dry, this is the first coat. See right now I put some red paint right here over the place. And now I'm putting a bit of uh, black paint right here. And uh, all this paint right here, this is dry. This has uh, three, uh, three coats on it, I think it's enough. I don't think I'm gonna put a four coat on it, but right now as you can see, and I sanded just uh, the top of this, with uh, a, a, a very light uh, sandpaper and I'm starting to clean it just about everywhere and as you can see now it's starting to look a lot better this is called detailing and it improves the uh, actually it improves the, the, the look of the, the car of course it looks a lot cleaner and of course uh, um, it, it's uh, my car well that way um, I'm a bit uh, you know I'm proud of my car when it's all clean and by doing this all the, this detailing I actually found a few places where the, the wires were loose the, the clamps were broken or was missing a screw here and there so by doing all this detailing a uh, little I've uh, I've maybe uh, saved myself a few repairs thanks Oh, I found something uh, that's uh, broken right here and the bolt is all rusted out and it's broken so uh, look at this so this is one of the noise that I was uh, hearing when I was driving the car I was here uh, a little ding 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 or you know, something like that all the times but uh, sometime I heard it but I was always wondering because uh, because I have this car, I've done maybe uh, 500 kilometers, and I'm uh, fixing everything that uh, I found that it's broken on the car to, to make it like the drive a lot better. Because this car uh, uh, needed lots of TLC, and right here. So uh, what I'm trying to to do is uh, there's no. Later on, I'm going to remove all this. I'm going to tap and die the bolt and re retread it, re put a bolt. But just for right now, I'm going to put, I'm going to use pliers and uh, <clears throat> metal wire, and I'm going to tie it down securely, make sure that it doesn't rattle anymore and it doesn't fall off. Okay, guys, I'm going to bend it, bend it like that because it's going to be a, a lot easier because uh, this is my first try. And, uh, oops, I can't I reach from here, maybe, yeah, I have it, and here, I got up to here, okay guys, so see, uh, while I can't, I hope you can see it good, and I got it, I'm just going to twist it a turn or two because I don't want to lose it. Cut it right here. It's a bit too much, I know, but it's okay. I'd rather use a bit more than not to lose it. Okay, so it's staying there right now. So you can see right here, this little piece. I know I don't like this either, guys. But it, this is just for right now. I think I no. Okay, sorry. I, I tossed the camera a bit, but I was just uh, looking for it. Okay. I know this is not not the proper fix. Uh, uh, I know. But uh, I'm going to the wreck yard and the junkyard and I'm going to pick up uh, a few pieces because it's also missing the, the battery support. This is the previous owner did that so it, for now it's kind of uh, but I don't like it. So I'm going to go to the wreck yard I'm going to try to find one and just for now I'm going to put this, uh, this wire right in. So I got it twisted already. So I'm going to grab it gently because I don't want to lose it. And I'm going to twist it a bit more. I just want to put it tight enough so it just won't rattle. See right now it's not rattling anymore. So this is tight enough. I'm just going to give it another twist. Just like that. I'm going to cut off the ends. I always try to catch, to hold the end on cutting so it won't fly away. Because you never know where it's going to end up and I'm the one working on the car so it may get stuck somewhere and I may catch my finger on it 
or it may it may it may jump in between a belt or something like that or pierce uh, you know it, it could be sitting on the exhaust then the car warms up then I start to drive away it flies off sticks into this it, 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 it melts inside all kinds of possibilities could happen so this is why I'm uh, I'm always uh, trying to keep a hand on these little pieces uh, and then I, I put a messiah like in my metal bin because I recycle metal and every piece is like uh, well it's a bit of money and it uh, helps uh, recycle and it helps, it helps the, planet, uh, the planet to be clean so one less little rattle and we're gonna put uh, we're gonna put this baby outside and I'm gonna take I'm gonna try and try to find hold on a sec do, do, do. I don't know if I can zoom in Yes, I can. Right here, you can't really see it good, but this is the uh, the power booster, and this is the um, the uh, <coughs> sorry the vacuum um, vent or some kind. Sorry, I don't know the proper name, but the seal in the back of it in there, it's uh, it's heat leaking badly. So I'm losing a lot of vacuum so that like the pedal brake is, is working like 50% because of this leak of the engine. I would start the engine but I tried to film it a few times. I can't really hear the, hear it how it's leaking but I can uh, I can show you like imitate the noise that it's, it's, it's doing. Let's say the engine is working right now and if like let here would be like a vacuum working like a suction air. Uh, the same suction and if you play with, with this little thing right here you move it from left and right then you'll hear the suction sucking differently like it would with a higher pitch or, so, or a very very high pitch or like a more like a, uh, like a massive uh, airflow coming in and you could hear also like the engine rumbling just a bit because of that because it's a vacuum leak so I'm going to try to get uh, I'm going to take it's a nice day today so I'm taking a drive and we'll try to find that part.